everyone, welcome to a new Dr. Vash video where we're playing, this time we're playing the Dark World deck. I know they had new support that came out a while ago, and I know that I'm a little bit late on it, but I didn't have a chance to play it, playing it today, I don't care. So Dark World um, is one of the most Luxackiest part of the cards. I hope I discard the right card deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! With some of the longest turns, People are not going to sit around and play. I'm not sure how good this video is going to be. I do not care. And we are here to, to push Yu-Gi-Oh's toxicity, where you play a one-sided game for the entire time. So the entire gimmick of this deck is to have Necromain King, um, ne have Necromain King discarded during our opponent's turn. Because he states that if this card in our position is sent to the card effect by an opponent, to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect it becomes the end phase of this turn no matter what phase it's in so like and the fusion the graph of the dragon overlord the new dark world card um his effect is if our opponent activates a monster effect normal spell or trap we can just we can change the effect to say your opponent must discard one card from their hand which if we have necro main king in our hand we're going to discard and their turn is just going to be over just like that um but just in case that doesn't work out we have backup so that's the and that's we're just going to have to the deck profile so we have neko main king for the one of because we don't ever want to see him ever this deck can draw through its entire deck in uh one go so like we can get neko main king and hold hold on to him during our opponent's turn and laugh maniacally then we have um, Shinobi Necro. This card's in here because we want him in the graveyard. This deck has a whole bunch of just straight up bricks. And we do not want to see them. This is one of the straight up bricks. We kind of want them in our hand. We mostly want them in the graveyard. But essentially, he lets us have access to Baron de Flor if our opponent uh, activates. If, if we summon Chaos Ruler using him as material or another card, we can essentially have access to Baron de Floor. And then we have one copy of Danger Jackalope. So Danger Jackalope, all the dangers, we reveal we reveal the danger, discard a card, and if it's not the danger, we draw and special summon the danger. And uh, if our opponent max sees us, we're gonna 100% win the game. So if our opponent max sees, we're gonna laugh and we're gonna deck them up. And that's all because of the danger stuff. Then we have two copies of Danger Soko and Yoko. I did not pronounce that right. Um, he's disca his discard effect is if he's discarded, we can special summon him from the graveyard. And Jackalope's effect, if it's discarded, we can special summon one Danger from our deck in defense position. Um, then we have Noah, Noah Punk, which we pay 700 life points at a Punk. The Punk engine gives, allows us to have access to the Chaos Ruler engine. So that's our entire goal is hopefully to get the punks engine going. So we can add any punk monster to our hand. We're gonna add level eight. The level eight's effect is we can discard him and one other card, spend, not discard for some cursed reason, add him and another card from the hand, special summon one cop, one punk card from our deck. It's gonna be a level five, a level five because of a level five plus three chaos ruler. And next we have Giant Rex. We just want to banish them with uh, Fairy Tail Snow. We get a free monster on board. One copy of Be Beige. So Beige, if we discard, we special summon. That's it. That's all we're using for. One copy of Black Rounds, Black Wing Zephro. So let's just recycle our field spell. Because when I made the deck, I did not have enough space for another copy for this field spell. But I didn't have enough York one. So this lets us loop that. Two cop or three copies of snow because when it's discarded we can fix our hand by adding any dark world card. One copy of fairytale snow. Two copies of dangerous super trooper cabra. Trooper cabra lets when he's discarded we both me and our opponent draws a card. We both discard one. We don't want to activate that effect unless we absolutely have to. Two copies of mothman. Oh, the mothman has a discard. What's your effect? Sorry, he summons any danger from grave mothman. Effect, we both draw one and discard one, and we don't want to activate that effect unless we absolutely have to. Triple copies of G Genta, one of the new Dark World supports. So this card, we can add the field spell Gates of the Dark World to our hand, and if he's banished by Gates of the Dark World, 
We can special summon him. That's a hard once per turn. Though. But adding the field spell is not. Two copies of gold because Silva is banned, but gold. Uh, if this card is discarded to the graveyard by card effect, special summon it, and um, that's pretty much all we use, use as effect for. We will never get the, if our opponent, if our opponent forces us to discard, we can destroy two cards. Never get that effect. One copy of Deer Note is a level five that gives us access to a synchro of eight. And also if he's sent to the graveyard, we can special summon any uh, punk monster from the graveyard except for itself. Triple copies of Danger Nessie, because when it's discard, we can add any danger monster. Double copy of Grapha, because Grapha gives us access to our fusion and lets us recycle all of our dark worlds, put them back to our hand. One copy of Bigfoot, because I pulled one copy of him. Yeah, he's a level eight monster too. Two copies of Foxy Tune, level eight monster. Two copies of Rainbow. So Rainbow is another new card. His effect is if he's discarded by a card effect, we can add one level five or higher Dark World monster from our hand, uh, which is always going to be gold. And if you have gold, it's going to be Grapha. And then one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster because I hate back row. One copy of Card Destruction because Maxi exists and we want to deck our opponent out. Double copy of Trade-In. One copy of the beginning of the end. If you have seven or more dark monsters, <coughs> dangers. We can banish five dark monsters to draw three cards. Triple copies of Allure of Darkness because uh, we we got to plow through our deck somehow. Double copies of Gates of the Dark World. Uh, it's a UR, run three if you have three. One copy of Dark World Arch Archives. I'm not the biggest fan of this card, but it does let us draw two cards if we don't break with it. Um, that's pretty much all we use it for. And also, we can discard it to make our um, Dark World, discard a Dark World monster to have our Dark World monsters gain attack. We'll only use that effect if we're desperate. Two copies of Emergency Teleport because it summons um, the Punk level three monster. One copy of Dark World Ascension because it's a quick play fusion spell card that fuses from the hand, field, or graveyard. If it fuses from the hand, you discard from the hand instead of fusing. And, uh, if you fuse from the field or grave, you have to banish the materials and can add itself to his hand by discarding a Dark World card. Talk about overtuned fusion card. So even if we accidentally discard it with a danger card, we just add it back and then fuse. Like, who cares? One copy of Eradicator Epidemic Virus. Um, it's in here because we win the game against certain decks. It's just a free win if we go first. And we have Neko Main King. We can literally force them to get rid of all of their cards, and then end their turn. Hilarious. Uh, Grapha, we already went over his effect, um, but he is a negate, and his fusion requirements is one, the base form Grapha, and one Dark Monster, so we can fuse from our graveyard with Dark Monsters with the fusion spell card. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Then we have um, Baron, the Omni Negate, one copy of Abyss Dweller, because we can. One copy of uh, Duragris. He's in here because of his draw two and discard one effect, which is amazing. But the real reason why he's in here is because we skip our next draw phase. So if we run out of cards on our deck, we don't lose the game. One copy of Coach King Gig or Giant Trainer. So Giant Trainer lets us draw three cards if you have three level eight monsters on the field. And if we summon a uh, Chaos Ruler, using a level, um, using the punk engine, that's two out of three level eight monsters. It's it's free, three free gains. Nightmare Phoenix, because I hate back row decks. IP Mascarina, because uh, we're gonna have a lot of materials on board and we gotta somehow get through it. Uh, Curious, the Lightsworn Dominion. He's in here because we can send Eradicator Epidemic Virus from our deck to the grave. And then using Nightmare Griffin, who I had to craft. Uh, when he's linked summoned, we can set one spell or trap card from our graveyard, but it can't be activated this turn. Who cares? Because we're setting Eradicator Epidemic Virus, and we can use Eradicator Epidemic Virus on Griffin. Oh, we can't use it on Griffin, it's a light time monster. We can use it on any of our Dark Worlds that are left over. Um, Aquilosa, because we're always going to have enough materials for it, and Saruta Skulldren. Pretty much the only thing holding this deck back is if you brick or if your opponent activates Droll and Lockford, which is in the realm of possibility, but since we're in silver, I mean, since we're pretty low ranked right now, we're not going to run into that problem. So yeah, let's um, hop into it. 
I have trade in and two level sevens in my hand. Same. And it is Sword Souls. I am in silver rank. I mean, I guess the other players I was playing against and uh, with the with the trap deck, they weren't playing very good at all. But like these guys, my last two opponents are just straight cooking. Okay, that's definitely blackout, and that's an imperm. Come on, give me something here. That's good. I I'm gonna activate a lure. I think he's gonna overreact and negate it. That's what I'm talking about. Gate to the dark world, will you negate? Face down. Activate Nessie. Will you negate? Shame. What are you going to do about the second one? Probably has cross out. Let's go. Search for you. Vanish Genta. You have something for this? A blackout would be clutch. And now we are going to start plowing through our deck. Get a foxy tune, we don't need you right now. I know my monsters gain effect from uh trade and activating. Look at discards for cost. Thank you. And we drew Rafa. You back to the hand. Special you. Let's see. Of course I get to discard the card I don't really want to get rid of. Not the end of the world. There won't be a next turn for you, unfortunately. Cool. Going to the Nightmare Unicorn, your last card away? Because I do not want to see it. Could be game. Unless, I don't know what this last face down could be. <laughs> Why did you just turn that off the entire time? That's game. The the universe balances itself out. We like the uh the dogmatica map. Okay, so let's see what we have. Reveal other first person hack. Reveal monster the grave. Activate E Telly.
And Chaos Ruler, we got the top five. This is actually like a very difficult choice. I'm gonna go for the searcher. Of course, I, I select Nessie out of everybody. Let's add another danger. I, I don't think Jackalope was the play. Yes, it was. I have both Gantas in my hand. That was not a smart search. Ginta. All right, and now we are in the captain seat. Oh yeah, Dark Worlds. You see the timer. You saw the timer. I'm playing against Utopia. So I think that this is uh, going to be a wash. some uh, some dealing I have a, a missile dealing deck myself that's probably my favorite deck right now and, and master duel and they pretty much if they want to hit the deck they certainly can but the deck's pretty much always going to be good oh I had trading in my hand I thought oh I have a card destruction and trading Power of you working against the clock. Activate his effect. Go ahead. You going for Utopic Dragon? your effect once per turn ah crap he knows how this card works pro monster do this declare I'm gonna do spell cards. Let's see what you got. Oh, Graves Keeper? Ah, oh, these cards! <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna attack over this. I think I'm just gonna swim in Dagaris. Double my attack and, um. Oh no, it's the Zeus! Yeah, okay, I, I mean, it's only once per chain. He knows. I'm still going to win.
On the bright side, this turn is about to be super simple. Discard. Special. I right, run two copies. <laughs> I, I don't know, understand why he didn't scoop in the first place. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to activate Neko Main King this time. Um, I definitely feel like he's a very fun card and is deserving the deck. I just don't understand how I draw through 40 cards and I get don't get into them like six times. But hey, that's the thing about Dark World. It's a very Luxacky deck. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose by the dangers hitting themselves three times in a row. Uh, it's just life, life of dan uh, Dark World dangers. But um. Thank you for all the support. If you do like this deck and more unique decks like this, please stop by my channel and like, comment, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate all the support for everyone and have a great day.